welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today what's new we're going shopping i um thought i would bring you guys with me to a little shopping trip to ikea today because i actually have a couple of things that i need to purchase a couple of things that we've got for the basement i also want to ask them about a potential wardrobe unit along here somewhere um, so I'm going to take some measurements, head over to Ikea, show you guys what's new in. And then, of course, anything that I do end up getting up, I getting up? anything that I do end up getting, I will um, share with you guys when I get home. Before we head off, I do want to firstly thank today's video sponsor, Readly. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about Readly before. Let me go grab my phone. Readly is an app that you can download and essentially have access to over 7,000 huge branded magazines, newspapers. So whether you want to start up a new hobby, whether you want to catch up on some daily news reading, whether you want to save some recipes, it's like the place where all the reading potential is. So I personally have a few favorites. I do tend to go on Readly, particularly for like interiors things, because I like to save and bookmark things for inspiration for our home renovations. So this is what the homepage kind of looks like. You've got sort of fashion, lifestyle, home renovation, beauty. And then if you click on the little tab at the bottom, newspapers as well. You can also download copies for offline reading if you're traveling. Not only is it a monthly subscription of only $9.99 a month, which you can cancel anytime if you decide it's not for you, I do have access to be able to give you two months, your first two months completely free of charge. All you need to do is click the link in my description box that I will leave for you to be able to download the app and you can browse the vast range of titles that they have for yourself. Readly is the sort of app that I tend to use at the hairdressers, when I'm sat waiting in my car, when I'm sat waiting for an appointment. I tend to just use it on my phone, but you can get access on up to five devices of which um, Tom has it on his iPad, so he tends to use it on that. Another little cool feature that I particularly like as well is that they do um, the archived copies. So it's not just the current copy of a favorite magazine of yours. You can actually go back and view old copies as well, which is amazing. So anyway, I'm gonna leave a link to it down below for you to check it out with those first two months completely free of charge. I know you guys are gonna love it as much as I do. I know quite a few of you have um, already downloaded it and are loving it. Anyone else that has maybe been thinking about it, any new viewers here, um, make sure to take advantage of that offer and I hope you guys enjoy. So without further ado, let's get on the road. Let's uh, get on the road. <laughs> I'll see you guys when I get to um, Ikea. Tied up my hair a second. Right, we are here. Got this to return. Um, I ordered a few bits online, which I'll show you those when I get back home. And um, ordered the wrong curtain pole size for down in the basement where I've got some linen curtains to go up. So I need to exchange this and I need to get, um, I've got some measurements for my PAX wardrobes that I'm thinking about potentially doing in my filming room. So I'm gonna see if I can maybe, rather than purchase them today, get them to do like a mock-up and then have a little think about you know the actual internal layout part but we'll see because the thing is with ikea packs wardrobe as well they're always in and out of stock so um so yeah i'll get them to quote me for that and then what else do i need to get um i would say an ikea dog toy for barney however we put one through on the online order so he's just got a brand new one of those uh, we bought a sofa which i'll show you when we get back home i'm gonna look at a rug for down in the basement so I took some rough measurements for that. I remember finding a really good one in the bargain corner years and years ago that I ended up, well, we ended up leaving it with the old house because um, it was a bit tatty by that point. And yeah, so we could see if they've got any in the uh, clearance section. But anyway, let's head on in. Oh, they've got some new candles I've seen as well that look quite nice. Do I return this first? I think I've ever had to do an in-store return. We're learning together. Okay, let's go. Has the heat come back? I was fully prepping and ready for autumn. In fact, speaking of autumn, great filming angle here. I have actually got some of the new next autumn bits, so I'm gonna share them with you. <laughs> Later on too. Oh, 
They did just do like a Tano announcement though, which I thought was quite good. In summer, all kids eat for 95p. Amazing. Um, but yeah, I think I am gonna grab myself a bite to eat because I did um, spend a while at the PAX unit section having like a mock-up. I've got two options. One, um, well, yeah, neither of which are like a corner unit, which I was thinking of initially, just because of the size of it, it's not gonna fit. So, yeah, I'll show you those when I get back anyway, and let me know which one you think would look better. So I am about halfway round now. Um, might just have to stop in for some meatballs. They did just do like a Tano announcement though, which I thought was quite good. In summer, all kids eat for 95p amazing um but yeah i think i am gonna grab myself a bite to eat because i did um spend a while at the pax unit section having like a mock-up i've got two options neither of which are like a corner unit which i was thinking of initially just because of the size of it it's not gonna fit so yeah i'll show you those when i get back anyway and let me know which one you think would look better new sofa I had to get changed because i was too hot i can't remember the name of it off the top of my head i think it's called backslagen or something like that but it's a really high back it comes with different cover colors colored covers i got the natural one that um when ordering the actual sofa but we did also order a spare cover in white it needs a bit of a steam barney leave me alone you lick in my feet. Why do you lick my feet, huh? I did order a couple of other bits. One of which is his Ikea dog, which is just over there in the corner that I can see. And then I also got a curtain pole, which was too big. So I took that back, obviously, as you saw earlier. I got the correct size. And this one actually comes with all the fixtures and fittings. So this is the lampshade that they do that everyone knows and loves. I've seen it for ages. It's the Toro Red. And it's... Oh, shaking the camera 
and it's a gorgeous seagrass material. The reason why I picked this up is because I just feel like the one that's in our bedroom just looks a bit out of place. I ordered it so long ago now from Dunelm. I just feel like maybe it's not actually the room for that lampshade, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna try this, see how it looks. And then if I decide this one isn't quite right either, I'm just gonna return this one, keep the one that we've got. But this was 15 pounds. Then I got one of these bags for three pound 50, just to carry everything in. The bright blue ones that they do are 75p, but I figured for three pounds, this one's zippable and clear. And now that we have the storage system in our storage room in the basement, it's quite handy to have these. So I've just decided to, to buy one of these. Um, so in here, we've got my wardrobe systems that I talked through with the um, lovely lady that helped me design these. So I've got one of two options. I'm going to have to scrap the idea of a corner one. But they are the two options that I've got. I just need to finalise deciding on the length. Um, that's the different price options as well. 508 versus 647. And it's either two 100 units or three units, two of 100 and one of a 50 unit. And then I also got another one of these pillows. Mine is out, it needs replacing, it's all misshapen. These do misshapen quite quickly, I will say that. But I sleep with it every night. It's my little pregnancy pillow even though we're not pregnant um tom actually got me into these these v-shaped pillows they honestly if you've never slept with one they're the comfiest things i think they're about seven pounds so comfy then i got some resealable food storage bags i did treat myself to a packet of crisps these are the sour cream and onion flavor ones i thought these for down here would be quite ideal so they're like the basement slipper because obviously we've had our basement done now and because it's hard floor, I'm not precious at all about like wearing shoes down here, but it's quite nice to have an option to do so in a slipper form. They only had it large to extra large. So these actually might fit Tom over me. But anyway, I picked them up, they were about two pounds. Then they had these little snack bags, which I quite liked. I've had a couple of things from this range before. It's called the Hajmal range. And it's a little canvasy linen bag, which is a roll over top with this little tie. So a perfect little snack bag is how they call them for within lunch boxes or like out and about if you want to pop this in your handbag and store things in it. Again, only a couple of pounds. I'm also into the oat milk at the minute and they had quite a few, well, they had three different flavors. They had standard oat drink, that's what they call them, oat drink. Oat drink for coffee, which I'm assuming is like the barista form and they also had a chocolate flavoured one but I just went for the coffee one for now to try and then last but not least I got this which I'm going to try putting out now and seeing how it looks so I wanted some kind of a rug for this space just to make it a little more cosy a little less I don't know when you have hard flooring oh no it's not the last thing I tell a lie I also got this jar to go in our utility room four pounds that one was so yeah i think with hard flooring it's quite nice to just have a rug in a lounge type of space so that it just is a bit softer on the feet and warmer and i looked i even facetime my mum for her opinion in store and there was one for 125 pounds that was a bit more luxurious really soft would feel lovely on the feet however would definitely show up muddy paw prints not that he's planning on having muddy paw prints in here, but any kind of marks or anything, it would be really noticeable on. And then there was this one for only £29, and they had a smaller version for 20 as well, which I thought was so affordable. And it's a big, well, this is the bigger one at 155 by 220 centimetres. A big cotton style rug with this green running through it, which is lovely. But on the reverse, it's just plain. So I thought I would even just try it on the reverse or the green. I don't think it really makes much of a difference. I suppose with the green, if I maybe buy a plant pot for that corner with a big plant in. I did have a look in Ikea, but there wasn't really any that was standing out to me. But if I do get something like that, oh, I'd love an olive tree. Maybe I should go to home sets. I feel like they'd have something like that. But yeah, some kind of plant in the corner, then maybe that green would tie in quite nicely with that. I'm gonna get this one out now, see how it looks, and then I'm going to take you upstairs. I've got a couple of bits from Next. This dress is actually from Next. I got it not too, too long ago. I've got some Next autumnal bits, which is so foreign with this weather. I was 
fully in the autumn swing, but we're gonna get back in the autumn swing. We're gonna put this out, we're gonna make ourselves a nice cozy coffee. And actually, if I drink a nice cozy coffee down here, it's fine because it's nice and cool down in the basement. Might even be sleeping down here if it gets any hotter than what it's been because it's just too much in this country. But anyway, let's get this out, let's see how it looks. I need to take washing out as well. Lots to do. Lots to do. I'm not sure. I just feel like it's too, um, too of this, like too much of the same colour. So I'm just unsure on how to finish this. I feel like it might actually be better on the other side. If I have the white cover on the sofa, I feel like it would be nice. But the linen curtains that I've got are white. Barney seems to like it. I could even put like one of the sheepskin throws that I've got maybe over the corner to make it even cozier. And then yeah, have it over this side, some kind of plant pot or something with a nice, I'd love an olive tree. I think that would look lovely. Got a TV mounted. That's Barney's little new Ikea dog toy and his bed from next this one. Again, it's that kind of uh, sheepskin kind of material, nice and cozy. I need to put a throw over that though because that's the only thing with dog beds that don't have washable covers. They don't last very long. Right, well, I'm gonna head back upstairs. This one's probably gonna stay here for a bit. I'm gonna go make myself a coffee and show you the next bits. Cheers from my first sip of coffee in a pumpkin mug. How cute is this? This is the first item that I have got from Next and this is just my new fave. Absolutely love it. So, mm, just a black coffee for me this afternoon. Hello pumpkin, it's got written on the inside. This was eight pounds. Ignore this box here, this is actually from Cherries. I've got a video coming up with them soon. So I have a load of autumn bits from them as well, which I'm excited to share with you. Um, but anyway, the classic good old next pumpkin casserole dish is back. This is the medium size. The large size that they do is orange, which is a nice muted kind of orange, a bit like the one in that mug. I went for the medium one at 30 pounds, it's got a nice gold lid. They did used to do it where it was just white ceramic plain, but I think it was last year they introduced this kind of speckled effect, which I personally much prefer. I really like the kind of, can you see the edging is a little bit almost like distressed looking or like rustic and old and discolored. <coughs> which I love. And then I also got from their kitchen range, this, which I don't remember them having last year. So I think this is new, it was 20 pounds. And it's this wooden chopping board with a little jute hanger, which you could hang up in your kitchen, just kind of stack on the side. You could use it for popping your autumn bakes on. And yeah, I just think it is the perfect kind of, um, wooden colour. It kind of matches in with my whole acacia wooden colour rather than like a real orange. It's got lots of nice textures to it, that one. Same with this, which is like that same kind of wood and a kind of little matching number. Again, from, I'm going to say kitchen, but it's actually like household. Mango wood. It's not acacia wood, it's mango wood. Set of four coasters, this one is. Hello pumpkin, it says on the front. I just think this is adorable and then i did pick up one other mug this one is part of the family range although i only saw this one so on the bottom it says mumkin which is just so so cute our family pumpkin patch it says along the top so i'm guessing they do like the dad ones and baby ones i just am the mum of the house obviously even though we don't have babies we have their baby really love again that muted orange it's not too like garish, it's just so cute. And there's a little white pumpkin on there as well. So that was six pounds. And then this is such a find. I feel like this is gonna be a sellout piece because it's so 
natural looking it's neutral it's not too like halloween which a lot of the decorations can be this is just a good old classic farmhouse autumn home decor piece it's a woven pumpkin 28 pounds loads of storage in there i'm thinking this on a coffee table to have your kind of coasters in or i mean not these ones because these ones are display coasters but little bits and bobs like your remote controls you know just knickknacks that people have maybe even some snacks in a living room that's where i'm thinking this one will go i did also get sent very kindly if you remember from an i not ikea asda hall no not asda hall amazon hall let me just have another sip of this coffee in that amazon hall section of the video i bought myself a pair of lululemon dupe leggings that's what i typed into amazon lululemon leggings and it came up with these they're called crz yoga like crazy yoga and it's a brand that had thousands of reviews seemingly all good and good dupes so we all know i'm obsessed with the lululemon leggings i tried it out myself i was impressed i did say it's not an exact dupe um, of the align leggings that i like maybe a bit more in between the align and the wonder under leggings that i've got nevertheless they do feel lovely, they're not see-through. I did size up in them, I will suggest that if you're kind of in between sizes. They reached out after I did that video and said, would I like to have a couple more? So I said, gratefully, yes. And I actually picked up these, which are a very similar close dupe to my Align Crop cargo leggings with the pocket that I do actually have from Lululemon. I ordered these in a large, which say on the label UK 14, which those ones are a little bit big around the waist, I will say that. But the tens, the, the mediums do fit me, but I'm just sort of in between the two. So again, this one is a large and this one, but this one fits better. Then I've got the um, dupe of the Align tank that they do at Lululemon. This is a crop bra, they call it, in a large. And this definitely is, snug on me so yeah size up and then i did just get a good old basic tank for like running working out and again i ordered that in a large and then lastly some sports leggings again in black and these ones just have the pockets on the side but they're not the cargo version and they're not the crop actually 25 is like the standard leg length i know they've got the variations on um amazon but 25 is like the standard leg length that i personally wear and i'm five foot six ish five foot five five foot six that is everything i do need to go down and get um some washing bits sorted i got these as well actually from sainsbury's not too long ago you might have seen in a video and i'm gonna pop these in that ikea jar on the side in the utility so let's go do that now and some washing stop procrastinating conclude today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed coming shopping with me again just a friendly reminder that uh, today's video is sponsored by readly so if you want to try it out yourself i know you're going to love it if you haven't already got it yourself then i will leave the link in the description box for you which is a unique exclusive link for you to use to be able to get two months your first two months completely free of charge so thank you to them for working with me on today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed it thumbs up if you have it really really helps out with my channel and of course if you want to subscribe with the notification bell to be notified anytime i upload further videos thanks you guys for watching i hope you have a lovely rest of your day and i hope to see you all very very soon 
in my next video. Bye guys!